Austria's certified most accurate forecast. I'm going to say, when will we experience such beautiful weather like we did this weekend? Mm. But, I mean, your 10-day has well, a lot of great, beautiful days just like today. In and it. then just some bad stuff in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But then we get the reward yes. of... Actually, knock on wood, I don't even want to jinx everyone. I jinx it. Looks good for the eclipse, but yeah, we got to get through this mess of a system. It is real mess. Mixture of rain and snow and everything. It arrives Wednesday, lingers through Friday, so pretty long duration, but the bulk of the accumulation we're still thinking is Wednesday night into Thursday when temperatures really start to crash down toward freezing. One to two feet easily in the mountains, four to eight inches for the valleys. There are some exceptions, which we'll get to in just a second here, but storm tracker nice and quiet quiet tonight and for the next couple of days really the energy that's going to come together for our storm is still way out in the western part of the country so it still all has to come together and it'll take a couple of days before it really does so tonight is fine you'll notice some clouds more clouds as you wake up tomorrow morning. I still think there will be some sun mixing in during the day. More clouds near the Canadian border could be a sprinkle late in the day. Don't think it looks like a big deal right now. Tuesday is also great from start to finish. In fact, the sun may be out for the northern half of the area most of Tuesday. The storm is going to struggle to come in Tuesday afternoon, and that's because we're dealing with a lot of dry air initially. Tuesday night, though, especially early Wednesday, I do think it makes a little more progress into our region. So Wednesday during the day, not very impactful in the valleys. Snow in the mountains, rain in the valleys. Wednesday night into Thursday, different story. Cold air comes in from the north and we got a lot of moisture developing. So that means a pretty hefty period of snow there. And it could linger throughout the day on Thursday. Wetter snow down low with some fluffier stuff up near the mountain summits. Again, it's long duration. So even on Friday, we're still dealing with the unsettled weather. Mix of rain and snow showers. But again, the bulk of the accumulation is Wednesday night into Thursday. So by Friday morning, this is what's on the ground. Thick in the Adirondacks are a pretty good place to be if you want a lot of snow. About a foot from Ellenburg down to the Tri Lakes. Malone in the 8 to 12, a little bit less near Messina. There could be some jackpot totals near Mount Marcy of 18 inches, but little early to make that call just yet. Remember, it's still few days away at least. We're thinking four to eight is a good call for northeastern Clinton County and most of the Champlain Valley. That includes Plattsburgh, St. Albans and Burlington. Eight to 12 though for the mountains, a little bit less moisture to go around for the Northeast Kingdom. So we're thinking with four to eight in St. Johnsbury, but the Southern Green Mountains could do really well with this from Killington all the way down to Mount Snow. And right now we're thinking the upper valley is in the eight to 12 inch range. I would lean a little bit on the lower end of that range. Four to eight for Brattleboro and four to eight for Benson. Rutland, I think you can squeeze out eight to 12, but it's going to be tough because initially there's an easterly wind that usually brings a down sloping wind into Rutland, which limits precipitation at first. So a lot of details to iron out in the next few days. We'll have a fresh update for you tomorrow morning. The point is though, spring is here the next couple of days before that system moves in. Takes a while to get out of here. You probably won't see the sun again after Tuesday until next weekend, but eclipse day still looking good. At least some sunshine is likely.